This is my review of the Shangang Black Sail V2. Uh, this is a not super well-known brand, although when they came out with this board and some similar boards, seems like they started to really get some attention on the market, developing more of a social media presence. They've got a lot of crossover with riders on the 88 team, which do great marketing. Uh, so a lot of people are curious about this brand and this board and their future boards because uh, part of why I'm kind of rushing to make this review is it seems like they're dropping some new product here in the next couple months or something like that. Been seeing a lot of development from them on social media. I just wanted to, to get this out there that I think that their construction is really good. It seems like they're coming up with some really inventive ways of constructing boards. Uh, here we're looking at seems like a bamboo laminate with some interesting construction. Uh, you've got carbon fiber on the bottom. It's got kind of a matte finish with their like release sheet, giving it a nice little texture kind of sheen there. Uh, but the more notable things is in the center line between the bamboo, you can see there's this really thick fiberglass layer and I forget the name of it. Maybe I should have done my research before, prevent, before hitting record, um, but it's this really interesting, it's also on the top layer too, it's just not as dark because light can actually permeate through it. Um, it's this really cool, like high density fiberglass. Usually fiberglass is, you know, just a few layers of fibers uh, in a, a couple different axes, two or three, uh, laid up onto the board with a big old coating of epoxy holding it all in place. Uh, this. Uh, high density fiberglass that they use is a ton of fibers uh, held together with a much smaller ratio of epoxy. And so you get a really big leap in stiffness. And they had to do that in order to use the bamboo, just because bamboo is not an inherently very um, stiff material. Uh, and this board is super, super stiff. Uh, I really like the construction. The board is super heavy by the way. Bamboo, not known for being very heavy, but the high density fiberglass top and bottom uh, seems like it's added a lot of extra heft to the board. And one thing you'll notice in the wheel wells here uh, is this kind of green material, and this is actually a foam. Uh, I can actually compress it with my fingernail a little bit. Um, it's interesting. I don't fully know or understand why they opted in to using foam in the wheel wells, but it does allow them to I uh, kind of sculpt out the wheel well, uh, maybe without having to do extra CNC machining. Um, yeah, it just like compresses in in the press and it, it's just nice. This board has a really nice fit and finish and feel, rides super well. It does have some interesting quirks though, the most notable being its width. Um, this is probably the widest short board you can get. It has uh, a bunch of, you know, modern around 20 inch wheelbase options, but at 9.5 inches wide, it's a really stark contrast to a lot of other stuff that we see on the market. We're used to seeing um, sub nine inch boards. Sweet spot for a lot of companies seems right around 8.75, going down to 8.5. And Shangang, they do offer another version of this board that's like 8.8 .8 inches, I think. Um, the main width of this board, is in the center, in the belly. As you stand up by the front truck, the board quickly disappears out around your toes, but gives your heel a really big platform to sit on. That works really well for me, really nicely for me. Um, but it also tapers a ton in the back. Uh, and this is very interesting. Uh, this has hurt some of the free ride ability of this board for me, uh, especially under my back foot. I need a wide board to, to sit my heel down when I'm free riding, uh, to keep consistent pressure when I'm kicking out and holding slides. I personally just can't free ride narrower boards super well. Uh, more of a problem with me uh, and my you know anatomy and my technique than it is a problem with any given board design or company. Uh, but that's just a preference of mine. So I've enjoyed this board a lot more for glove down skating. Another thing you might have noticed from the profile of this board is that almost like a Pantheon Tortuga or like the 9.81 model that has a tail, uh, this has a, a sloping rear tail. It goes up a little bit. Uh, this isn't paired with any sort of W concave. It's just a very simple elliptical concave. Uh, maybe it's radial. kind of looks elliptical to me. Um, 
a really simple concave that is super effective. Uh, usually what I've experienced with traditional concaves, and this is why I've done a lot of prototyping for like W implants, for example, that would go, that would go somewhere like there, giving me a little W to stand on, a little toe pocket in here. Uh, I like this thing a lot and check out my Patreon if you want to get uh, one of these for yourselves. But um, yeah, usually I don't get super locked in with a more traditional concave, at least not in the back foot. Um, but for some reason, this lovely combo of the, the tail here, the upwards curvature where you're planting your foot in, uh, the sharp rail, and just the nice gradual curvature there. I am so locked in on this board in a wheel that, in a way that feels really, really nice and honestly makes me not have any desire to put W concave in the deck at all, which is astonishing because I do that to a lot of my boards. Um, yeah, I think this shape is extremely ergonomic, uh, really nice. Uh, it doesn't exactly tell your feet to go in any specific position. A lot of boards that have tails have a very specific transitional point where it's like, if you're not standing there, you're messing up. You're standing too far forward, too far back. Uh, this really gradual slope allows you to adopt a number of different stances, and this board's going to be a nice platform for a lot of people in that way. Um, I should have said it at the top, um, but I'll, I'll say it now. Uh, consider this review to be biased. I've not been asked to make this review. Uh, I've, the company sent me this board for free saying, hey, would you want to try out our product and give us some feedback on it? Not even public feedback. They're just like, we want to hear your thoughts on, uh, which is incredibly flattering. Thank you. Uh, but also, you guys know I'm going to make a review of whatever gear I get my hands on. Um, and so, yes, I, I have deeply enjoyed this board. Um, but it, it was given to me for free, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, further on, you can see it comes pre-drilled with a number of extra holes. It's got holes here and here, uh, and here and here. These accommodate different weights that you might want to put under your board. Um, I have an example of it. I'll run and grab it uh, later in the video. Um, but you got your pre-drilled holes for weights, which is really nice. Uh, there's not a ton of options for like adjusting weight forward and backward. Your weight either has to have uh, slots in it already, which not a ton of weights do. Um, but it's at least a good start. Uh, and it worked for me in my experience free riding this board. Like I said, the tail tapers off a little bit too much for me to feel comfortable with stand-up heel sides on this board. Stand-up toes felt awesome on this thing immediately got some really nice stand-up toes going um but yeah that's just uh that's uh the, the weight's a good thing it's got a good spot additional holes it's got extra uh foot stop mounting holes now you can't see it but there are three on either side of the normal mounting holes uh six extra foot stop mounting holes in total uh that rules that is Awesome. This is a feature I've been wanting on one of my boards. I end up drilling a lot of my boards myself these days to be able to put a foot stop where I want it, offset, uh, also so I don't have to worry about having extra long hardware to go in through my trucks and then anytime I change my trucks I have to change where the foot stop goes because it's going through the same thing. Having dedicated holes for the foot stop is such a nice quality of life feature that oh, I'm, I'm just obsessed with. I, I love it. Um, an interesting quirk of this board, which hasn't caused me too much issue, but is definitely strange, uh, is that the board adds angle to your trucks. Um, so obviously the, the tail is going to contribute some angle, but the front flush mounting option uh, is also a little bit upturned. And so in total, this board adds uh, about five to six degrees to your front and rear truck, kind of in total. Um, and the way that I've compensated for that is, I've just 3D printed myself some really minimal, uh, like two or three degree uh, wedged risers to counteract that just so I can use the normal angles of these uh, gold rogues that I happen to have it on now. I skated this board on Seismic Eons, I skated on the gold rogues, I skated it on, um, on my don't trips, a number of things. 
Um, works well with all of them, but you do notice if you're not uh, accounting for that extra angle with some uh, de-wedging, um, you are going to notice you're getting more steering out of your trucks, which actually with the seismic eons, one of my, or I keep saying eon, I think it's aeon. Eon is just a different word that means a different thing. The seismic aeon trucks. That extra angle actually really benefited me because those trucks lacked a bit of steering and this board's wedging uh, compensated for that, giving me just a little bit more steering and response that really brought those trucks to life in a way that was really pleasant. Um, so yeah, it's not all a bad thing, but it is a little bit interesting, especially if you're using trucks that already have fixed angles. Uh, if you're not using like some cheap pants risers to, to compensate, uh, your trucks are going to be a little bit more turny than otherwise. Um, yeah, I, I think this is all I have to say about this board. Oh, um, when they sent this board out to me, I, I got one of the owners or, or designers or I don't fully know what his involvement with the company is. It seems like it's a, a two-person partnership. Um, his name is Jason. Uh, he seems more uh, marketing forward with the company, uh, somewhat involved in 88, it seems like, as well as a team writer. Uh, he's a beast of a writer. He has some amazing downhill runs filmed. Um, and uh, I got him on the phone to talk to him about the board, the construction, the design idea, just because it seems so unique that, you know, I, I wanted to, of course, make my own inferences about the design, but I also had questions like, why make such a small board um, lengthwise and wheelbase-wise, but have it so wide? And his answer was really insightful. He said, here in China, um, we have not had access or most of our riders haven't had access to narrow precision trucks. They're either really hard to get here or companies just aren't shipping them out there for any number of reasons. And so a lot of people are skating 130 millimeter bears, 150 millimeter Paris, nine inch calibers. They're skating cast trucks that are a bit wider. And so in order for the board to rail match with what most of uh, their you know customer base is using, uh, they had to include a wider option. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, it seems like the board's definitely tailored uh, for their market, but that doesn't mean it can't be global. Uh, they seem like they're trying to, to push towards having a little bit more of a, a global commerce, um, getting boards, particularly in North America. And I would love to see more of their products here because I mean, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. It feels gorgeous. The construction is rock solid. The concave is so elegantly simple and works really well. Um, the width is a little bit of a weird quirk. Worked great for me. I love a wide board, but not everybody likes a wide board. They also sell a narrower option of this board if that width is kind of a deal breaker for you. Uh, and of course, uh, they've been teasing some other models coming out, hopefully in future months on social media. So um, if you're looking at this company and you're like, I've never heard of this company before, do they make good products? I can tell you that you can and should trust them. Uh, they make really good thought, like well thought, thought about, thought through, uh, just well engineered and well designed products. Um, so I, I trust them in whatever their future endeavors are. Um, yeah, this board works really well for me and I would love to see it under more people's feet. One thing that is kind of a bummer uh, is he told me that this construction that they're currently using uh, is pretty expensive. Uh, these materials are just going up in price. It's complex and takes a lot of time to build a single board. Uh, and so they're gonna move away from that, probably in favor of a more traditional, like maple fiberglass or maple carbon fiber uh, combination. Um, which is a bummer. This construction is great, but it's hard to beat that tried and true, uh, maple carbon laminate, um, that just has worked for so long and continues to work. Um, I, I commend their attempt at reinventing the wheel because it's, it's a cool board with a cool construction, but, uh, it sounds like it might not be around for long. So if you're interested in this board, interested in the super cool construction, probably don't have a ton of time to try to get your hands on it. Um, but fortunately for you, they've got other stuff in the pipeline that's going to come out and seems really cool, well-engineered, well-designed. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on this company. I hope to see them, uh, you know, 
have a more global market. Of course, I'm extremely thankful for them uh, for sending me product. I have, you know, really no complaints about this besides would love to see more weight mounting holes so you can adjust the weight. Oh, I need to show you the weight. Come with me. The lighting's going to get bad. But... Oh, I just kicked something that hurt. Um, they have this gorgeous weight. It's a little pricey, but it's well manufactured. They sent this to me as well. They're like gold brick weight. Uh, it's really attractive. Let's get it over in the light. Um, this weight doesn't have any slots in it, so there's no adjustability. Um, and the board doesn't have any slots in it. There's no adjustability there. So if you're using different wheelbases or things like that, you can't exactly tune where it goes without re-drilling the deck, but that deck has plenty of stiffness to sacrifice. Um, I fully would trust that, con that construction for drilling in new weight holes. Um, but yeah, this uh, is a, a gorgeous, nice little weight that's definitely uh, been nice for free riding on these smaller more nimble setups really kind of settles them down i might make a video about how weights affect uh, just skating in general uh, maybe some guidelines or stuff like that other people have good guides out there if you go looking for it um, and i'm not the most avid of little board free riders but also i've had a good year free riding little boards on my zealous trucks as you saw so maybe it's time but i want to say thank you all so much for watching uh thank you to the patrons for continually supporting the content i make here and i hope all you patrons are enjoying um all the hours of content i have over on patreon i think we're up to like maybe 10 hours of videos over there just made my 200th post a couple weeks ago over on patreon majority of which are videos uh first reactions stuff like that i covered this board um a while ago i, I covered it a while ago uh, when I unboxed it and first started skating it. And so patrons have known some of my opinions about it for a while, but about time we got it out into the public. So thank you all, uh, whether you're a patron or not. My phone storage ran out, but what I wanted to say was thank you all, regardless of if you're a patron or not, for watching, because that still uh, is extremely supportive. Um, and thank you for helping each other out down in the comment section. I love to see when other people are... Uh, giving advice, wheel truck advice, whatever, um, makes me smile. So yeah, thanks for making this a cool community. I appreciate you all so very much, and I hope you have a great day.